Hey, what is up everyone? This is Private Mittens and today I'm going to be doing my third installment to the video game comeback series. Uh, this time we're going to be doing Medieval, which is a PlayStation series. Without further ado, let us begin. Uh, Medieval 1 was released in 1998 for the PlayStation 1. It's a action-adventure game. It claims it's hack and slash. I think it's more action-adventure. It's akin to, say, the 3D Zelda games, say, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask onwards. Uh, it's sitting at an 80%, so all up, it is a good score for, especially a new IP of its time. Uh, Medieval 2 was released in 2000 for the PlayStation 1. It also continued the first uh, formula, except instead of being set in Medieval, it was set in Victorian London. Which, one of the villains was Jack the Ripper, which was a bit silly. I, I'll i get to that soon. But, it's sitting at 79. So, once again, it's also sitting at a pretty good score. Final Medieval to be released was Medieval Resurrection in 2005 for the PlayStation Portable. This game was essentially the first game remastered, but with better graphics and a few new features like voice talent for most of the other characters that never got voicing. Uh... A side character which was a genie and a few other here uh, things here and there this is sitting at 66% on Metacritic which is a bit stupid considering everyone that I've talked to that's played the remake says it's better than the first game it's what the first game should have been so yeah but I'm not here to review these games I'm here to talk about them of course and then what I'd like to see for the series but anyway um Medieval 1, as I said, was set in Victorian London. Ah, Medieval 1, was sorry, was set in Medieval England, which took place with a character called Sir Daniel Fortescue. For anyone that doesn't know, he is a comedy character. Very akin to, say, Dante from Devil May Cry. He's... Without spoiling anything, he's a card, but at the same time... He's not, you know, an unlikable character. Uh, Medieval 2 was the same thing, except... I think Medieval 2 wasn't as good as the first game. I think a lot of people agree on that as well. And it's set in Victorian London, as I stated. And I think it was a pretty silly idea for the series to go to. And there's not really much to talk about Resurrection, because it's just the first game remastered. But these games were made by Cambridge Studios. Now... I talked about this uh, company with Devil a few, it might have been about two months ago. Sony closed this uh, developer down. Now this developer done Medieval of course, but they also worked on the handheld Killzone games. Which, I honestly think the handheld Killzone games are good. I haven't played the Vita one, but the PSP one is a great Killzone game. It's far better in my opinion than Shadowfall. But, uh, they closed them down. That's going to go in towards what I, I'm going to talk about, what I'd like to see in that there, but let's get to the actual, my thoughts of what I want to see. Now, since Cambridge Studios isn't gone, the chances of see, us seeing a medieval game is very, very slim. I mean, we've got a better chance of Microsoft releasing a Gex game than we have of getting medieval, but uh, I think the safest bet would be to release 1 and 2 remastered on PS4 or the Vita which would be you know improved graphics, uh, graphics of course better camera better gameplay you know all around just a better game like what Crash Bandicoot is getting at the moment but uh, that would be the safest bet which baffles me why they never released Medieval Resurrection 2 for PSP which would have been the second game of course remastered but uh what I'd like to see, though, if we're not going to get a remaster and an actual brand new medieval game, how about set it back in, you know, the old medieval uh, England? As Sir Daniel Fortescue, have, say, for instance, a training level, him as a human. Then it goes into, you know, what he, because you know, for anyone that hasn't played it, if you've seen the front cover, you know he dies and comes back. But, uh, how about new weapon sets? 
new armor sets, new magic, stuff like that there, increase upon that there. Now, this may be a bit controversy, have an open world. Now, I'm one that doesn't like open world games anymore because they're just fucking a dime a dozen. I would love to see this series put open world because I think it would benefit the series. Have, for example, very not little bits and bobs of stuff on the map here and there. Hi, buddy, you've got like this huge castle. For anyone that's played 3D Game Heroes, a map like that, except open world, where you know you've got your different terrains, your different, you know, difficulty spikes in different areas because of, you know, the area you're in. Something like that there from Medieval, or, you know, just something like that. Not Zelda's, you know, way it's always been open world, where it's been a corridor, you know, big little area corridor, you know, likes to say Ocarina, Twilight Princess and that there. But, uh, what I would also like to see is maybe a new character instead of Sir Daniel. Now, I know this is going to probably annoy Devil, because uh, he is a huge fan of this series, and when we played uh, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, he used Sir Daniel more than any other character. But, I, I like Sir Daniel, of course I do, but how about a new character for a change? If you're going to reboot the series, how about a new character? How about set in, say, medieval France or the Roman era? That would be pretty cool as well. Um, a new character, uh, but for the combat, I would say don't make not make it a hack and slash as you know God of War and all that there. Make it along the lines of Zelda. I mean, Zelda was its competitor, or this was Zelda's competitor. They tried to compete, you know, with the huge success of Ocarina of Time. But, uh, you know, just an open world game, a new character, you know, updated graphics, controls, camera, definitely the camera. <laughs> um, and I just I think it'd be really cool to see. I mean, why isn't it not getting a chance to be brought back while Knack gets a fucking remake, uh, re uh, sequel, sorry. I'm still, I'm still baffled that gets a sequel. I don't think that's fair when the game fucking bombs big time in terms of reviews. But, uh, that's really all i got to say, guys. I mean, I think the reason we're not going to see another Medieval is the Seals. Yes, Resurrection didn't get a good review score, but the other two did. But it's the, it's the Seals. This series has not really sold that well. So, that may be the reason why. But anyhow, that's episode 3, guys. I hope you enjoy. Let us know in the comments what you think about medieval if you like the series you've played it um the next episode i will be doing the fear franchise and the reason i'm telling you that it's fear instead of keeping it you know secret like i did with these ones is because i i was playing fear again on ps uh three uh, like last year i've been playing it again on pc and yeah i, I think i gotta talk about this series now but anyhow Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Private Mittens. Hope you guys take hope you guys take care and see you later.